We are halfway through 30 Days of GoPro, a guide for beginners. Yesterday's video was a big one. I went through all of the video mode capture settings. Today we're gonna go with the photo mode capture settings. It's gonna be a lot simpler, I promise. So just like in video mode, photo mode contains three capture modes. There's photo, which is just like a regular photo. There's night photo and there's burst. And of course, each of these capture modes has their own settings. So photo mode is gonna work just like a regular point and shoot camera. You hit the shutter button, it's gonna take a picture. It's very old school. Night photo is exactly how it sounds. It's the mode you wanna be in if you're gonna be shooting photos at night. When you're shooting in low light settings, the shutter button can stay open for longer, so night mode allows that to happen, but you wanna make sure that you stabilize your camera with a tripod or something and that you don't have it in your hand when you're in night mode, otherwise your photos are just gonna be blurry. And burst mode allows you to capture a whole bunch of photos with just one click of that shutter button. So you could do like 30 photos in just one second. So this would be ideal for really fast moving activities you wanna make sure that you like get get that moment, you know, get that shot. And just like with the video settings, your camera has a different field of view options. You have wide, medium, linear, and narrow. And all of the photos captured are gonna be at 12 megapixels, which is like the size of a wall. You can change the field of view just like you do in video mode. Just tap it at the bottom of the touch display and scroll to your desired field of view. And then in night photo mode, you can actually change your shutter speed. By default, it's on auto, but if you wanna try and capture like the stars and the Milky Way in complete darkness, you would wanna bump up that shutter speed to like 30 seconds. So there is a handy chart in the Hero 5 user manual that you might wanna refer to for that. And in burst mode, you can change the burst rate so that you have lots of different options there from like 30 photos in one second to 30 photos over the course of six seconds and a bunch of other options in between. And there are some advanced capture settings like ProTune and things like that, but I'm gonna save that stuff for a future video. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of those videos. And tomorrow, we're gonna talk about time-lapse mode, which is a very commonly requested topic. Don't forget to grab my GoPro settings cheat sheet. I will link it here now and uh, give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful for you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.